content yeah 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 all set all set oh my god this is my first video and they were asked to select a content by myself what do i talk about what do we discuss on nids exams are over you said and left they don't have any new updates to discuss on nata nata what is that to discuss on nata mm. drawing drawing nata and drawing even i came across that they have released their brochure version 1 of 2024 let's see what surprise nata has for us this year wow they have worked on a lot of sector so let's see what what new things nata has added in their new brochure for 2024 hey guys welcome to another video with thing instead of design this is ani here to present you nata's new brochure version 1 2024 let's look into it in detail So after so much of debates and discussion and survey done by COA they have brought back the drawing section. So let's see what all the new updation with the drawing section they have brought this year. So important updates of Nata 2024. The first important update is drawing. The next one how is your exam question paper is going to be? It's going to be of part A and part B. Part A will be your drawing section which will be of 80 marks. Part B will be your aptitude section which will be of 120 marks. Overall for 200 marks and then comes your qualifying marks for each section. So your part A's qualifying mark is 20, your part B's qualifying mark is 30 and your overall qualifying mark to clear NATA is 70 out of 200. The next update is your eligibility criteria. NATA has revised their eligibility criteria for this year. And the next and the last one is your validity of your exam result. Nata has updated their validity of exam result from one year to two years validity from this year. Let's look into the updates in detail. The first one which we are going to see is the syllabus. So your part A syllabus is going to be of three drawing questions, in which you will have three different questions. One will be of your conversion and color, and the second one will be your drawing section. That's black and white drawing, which will be of your perspective views. So the third one is your three D drawing. For three D drawing, they have said that they'll provide you with the kits. Moving on, the part B. Your part B is your aptitude section, which is of one twenty marks. So that will have MCQs. That is multiple choice. question so your multiple choice question will be like they'll give you a question which will have four options in that you should select the right option overall your aptitude section is for 120 and your drawing section is for 80 the total mark will be of 200 let's look into the topics of part a part b in detail so part a topics part a is, is our drawings area so in drawing area as we mentioned before there are three topics one of the topic is color conversion that is it is basically color theory so they might give you a situation and ask you to draw and color it according to the situation or else they will give you abstract a few shapes and they might ask you to arrange it in a particular color theory so next question is your sketching and conversion that is your black and white sketching that would be a perspective drawing it could be one point or two point which will be mentioned clearly in the question Moving on to the next one that is your 3D drawing they have said that they'll be providing you with a kit so how your 3D drawing is going to be so basically they might give you a shape or some object like this and ask you to place in a certain direction or in a certain lighting area and ask you like uh, if the light passes through or falls on this object from the north side or from the east side how the shadow is going to be so you have to draw the object with the shadow and shade it like how far the shadow will fall those kind of questions we can expect in 3d drawing moving on to part b which is our aptitude section so in aptitude section we can expect questions from these areas so let's see what are the areas we can expect questions from first one is visual reasoning what is visual reasoning visual reasoning is nothing but there will be an isometric view of an image will be given then the question will be like what how the image will be from the top view or from the side view and you will be having four answers and you have to look into the image carefully and give your answer the next one is logical derivation what is logical derivation again so in a logical derivation they might give you an image of a die and ask you to unfold it and see how the dice will look now let's look into the eligibility criteria so in eligibility criteria there are two eligibility criteria one is to write nata and one is for admissions in bia colleges so first let's see what is the eligibility criteria to write nata For writing NATA, they have actually revised their eligibility criteria for 2024. So first, we'll see what is that. That is a candidate who has already returned his 11 or going to give us 11 with PCM is also eligible to write NATA this year. 
the next one is a candidate who is already given or going to give his or her 10 plus 2 with PCM is eligible to write. The next one is for candidates who have already given or gonna appear for their 10 plus 3 with mathematics as compulsory are also eligible to write their NATA 2024. Moving on to the eligibility criteria for admissions in BR colleges. When it comes to admissions in BR college, a candidate should have passed his or her 10 plus 2 with PCM or any equivalent exam with an aggregate of 50%. And when it comes to diploma, a candidate should have passed his or her 10 plus 3 with mathematics with 50% of mark. So let's look into the schedule of the examination as for the brochure version 1 2024. The exams are scheduled from 6th April 2024 every Saturdays and Sundays as two sessions. Session 1 in the morning, session 2 in the afternoon. A candidate is eligible for three attempts and best of three will be considered as a final result. But in last year, NATA had come up with a fourth exam also. So when it comes to NATA, we all know, expect the unexpected from NATA. And they have also bought a new update in the validity of your examination result from one year to two years in 2024. When it comes to NATA, always be prepared to expect the unexpected. And to beat the unexpected thing, do join us with our new upcoming NATA crash course. For pre-booking, call us on 8086 And you can also DM us on our Insta page. Our batches are weekend, crash and repeaters batch. If you have any doubts and for joining our classes, do contact us on given number. We do have classes for design and architecture entrance exams like NID, USIT, NIFT and JEBR. Let's look into the city list where the exams are going to be conducted but they have not confirmed the city yet it's just the tentative city list here are the list where the exams are going to be conducted in kerala so this is all about the new update of nata 2024 so the updates where nata has bought back their drawing section eligibility criteria part a and part b in question paper qualifying mark and the validity of your exam results for more such videos like this do follow us on instagram and also subscribe to our channel and show your support by liking this video this is annie signing off from the institute of design